welcome back to my channel as you can tell from the title today i'm back with a h&m haul and it's full of autumnal cozy knitwear lovely little bits a few pajamas as well for like those cold like autumnal dark nights when it's like getting dark at, like six o'clock again you're having a hot chocolate you've got a good film on it's those kind of vibes and i'm so here for it like i love summer i think it's definitely my favorite time of year so i'm gonna be sad to see it go but you've got to look at the positives in life you know so i'm just focusing on the cozy knitwear all those kind of things this will be a try and haul as always and everything will be linked down below and i'll also have my instagram and my tiktok tick tick knock tiktok username down below so you can go over and follow me on there if you're not already i think that's everything i need to send the intro so i'm just gonna get straight on with it and we're gonna start off with this which is inside out for me trying on but i absolutely love this so this is like a stripey obviously as you can see a stripey kind of like knitted jumper it's a really nice like boxy fit and i love the material of this because it's kind of like really like straight structured material i don't really know how else to explain it but you should hopefully be able to see what i mean in the try on clips and it just looks like this it's got like this high neck but the only thing about this is like wearing it with a high neck like this is it's kind of like wrinkled i don't know if maybe it needs an iron but like it's kind of almost like a lettuce hem on the neckline which just looks a bit weird it's kind of like ruched up where it should be straight so i just need to work it out but to be fair i quite like folding it down anyway otherwise i feel like i've got a neck brace on or something um i just really like this i ordered this like a couple like weeks ago but now i, I keep seeing stripes everywhere i think they're gonna be quite a trend this autumn so if you see a stripey item that you like i'd recommend buying it when you see it because i think it's gonna be quite a trend this um autumn and winter so they'll probably sell out quite quickly but this is the first item and I got this in a size small and for reference I'm five at five and I'm a size six and it's a nice kind of like boxy oversized like cut it's like a slouchy jumper but it looks really nice and that's what I love I love those vibes and then moving on to the proper cozy autumnal knit stuff I got this which I'm pretty sure they came out with last autumn or maybe in like the springtime or something but they still have it um and the shorts are in the sale so I thought I'd give it a go so this is the cardigan it's like a kind of popcorn knit fluffy white material and it looks like this and this i got in a size large just because i wanted it to be really nice and oversized and baggy and it's a really soft cozy material my only problem is i don't know how well this is going to wash because you know like it could go bobbly so i'm not too sure and then i got these shorts which i did get last spring time but i returned them because i wasn't sure how i was feeling about the bobbly wash situation but these are in the sale this time so i thought like you can kind of justify a bit more if it's in the cell if you know what i mean if it does go bobbly but they're just these long lines of shorts a little bit longer than normal but i quite like that because sometimes i feel like loungewear shorts and like pajama shorts to wear around the house can often be quite short so if like you're wearing them and then like your neighbor pops around or something you're like oh my god i need to go and get changed whereas at least with these these actually do cover you like they're a good length and these i got in an extra small and they fit really really nicely i can't remember how much they were in the sale i think no i'm not even i was gonna make a stab in the dark i was gonna make a guess i don't actually know but this i'm like is so cute like i'm thinking fluffy socks some slippers hot chocolate in a pumpkin mug like you know those kind of vibes with little marshmallows on top pumpkin candle is like burning on the windowsill but you've got to keep an eye on it so it doesn't set your candles not your candles are light your curtains are light that kind of vibe do you know what i mean like that is just like a nice rainy autumnal day this is that kind of outfit then i got a couple of these jumpers i also ordered them for mum because i knew she'd love them and she she does she's keeping this one um but i got these two jumpers they're the exact same they're just in two different colors um so they're like this kind of knitted wool-esque they're not scratchy but they kind of feel like wool so you kind of get the best of both worlds with them being warm but not scratchy and then these like v-neck slouchy jumpers so this one what color are we calling this like a brownie gray and i got them in an extra small but i'm kind of thinking maybe i should size up because they'd be nice if they're a little bit more oversized um so that is that one they have like a little slit in the side and these were literally like 17.99 i think so they're so cheap like really inexpensive and then i also got this one which is like a creamy color just like a really nice basic jumper good for layering good to go with so much they're just like a nice like staple item and again like i said like 12 12.99 17.99 i think 17.99 either way just a very very good price and my camera battery is now flashing and we're not even halfway through yet and if i change the camera battery it's going to change the setup so i'm gonna 
I'm going to keep going until my camera battery literally dies and cuts me off and then I'll have to come back and I have to take the camera off the tripod to change the battery which then moves where the camera is and it's just a bit of a nightmare but we'll cross that bridge in a second. If I stopped rambling we'd get on with this a little bit quicker. Next up I got this trench coat which I saw on someone on Instagram and she was kind of wearing it as a dress and it looked really really nice so I thought I would try it and it's it's white, it's not even cream, it's like a proper white colour. Apologies for Reggie barking, he's probably dropped his ball down the side of the path but I'm obviously in the middle of filming a video and dad's working so no one can go and get his ball. He throws his ball in places that he can't get it because he thinks it's a good game and then he barks until someone gets the ball out for him and it gets really frustrating, especially now when he keeps barking. Anyway, I'm like, I've got like short on camera battery and I'm still rambling. Like a white trench coat, really long line, got a nice belt detail to it. It's really hard to hold up and show, so it'll be easier to see on in the try on clips. Um, but yeah, like I said, the girl on Instagram I saw wearing this was wearing it like tied up as a dress and I love wearing trench coats as dresses. So I thought I'd give it a go and I do quite like it, but I think the white is putting me off a bit. It's kind of giving me like clinical science doctor vibes with, you know, the white lab coat. So I'm not too sure. I'm a bit on the fence with this one. So let me know what you think. And then I got this little top, again, stripes. Bef I got all these kind of stripey things before I kept seeing it as a trend. And now I think it's gonna be a trend. And I'm kind of like, oh, I'm really happy. Oh, there's my hair clip. I don't know how that got in there but i was missing that yesterday there we go there it is um i'm kind of happy like oh i got ahead of the trend by like two days like it's really not that big of a deal but it makes me feel good you know like when you like you find something you like and then actually it happens to be like a trend do you know what i mean i don't know if that makes sense anyway i'm rambling again this is the jumper i don't think i'm gonna keep this one i think i'm gonna return this because i prefer the other one but it's like a really fluffy three quarter kind of like three quarters sort of sleeve those are open collar um kind of jumpers that were really on trend last year and it's a nice navy and white and with some white trousers i thought this would look really nice and you could definitely like i feel like in the trial clip it's the basic but you could really style that up to like make it look nicer with some white trousers maybe some like birkenstock boston clogs or just some white trainers nice big scarf trench coat like i feel like styled together this could look really really nice and then I've got a couple of pairs of pyjamas because H&M are bringing out some really, really cute pyjamas at the moment. So first up, I got this pair, which I feel like if you're a Friends fan, which I'm going to put my um, self on the line here and say I don't really like Friends. Um, I just, I hate canned laughter. You know, like programs where it's got fake laughter in it. It does my head in. Like, I just, it's just like, you just put this kind of laughter in when it's not even funny and it really just annoys me. Um, anyway, but if you're a fan of Friends, you will probably like these because I was going to say these have got crocodiles on them. It's not a crocodile, it's a lobster. And they're these like satin pyjamas. So these are the trousers. They come together as a set. So long line like trousers with little lobsters on and it's like a light pink base with a dark pink lobster, which I think is really cute. And then this is little shirt, which is inside out. So it's just like your kind of classic pyjama shirt with the collar, the buttons, the long sleeve. And I got this in an extra small and the trousers fit really well, but the shirt I'd rather have in like a medium because I'd just like it to be a bit more oversized and baggy. So that is the problem with not being able to like mix and match your sizes. Um, but it still does look really nice. And this is like quite a nice gift for someone as well, I feel like, because they're a really nice like pair of proper pyjamas, satiny long sleeve, especially as well if they're a friend's fan. I feel like this is a really good gift for someone. You can even get it now for Christmas, which I know is a bit premature, but I kind of when it gets to this time of year I think when I start seeing things and I'm like oh so and so would like that and so and so would like that I'm like I might as well get it now I'm gonna have to spend the money and buy them a present at some point so if I buy it now I'm spreading the cost out a bit more and I'm getting them something that I know they're gonna like do you know what I mean anyway I don't know why I'm giving you my Christmas tips and then I got this pair which again are basically the exact same style they're like that satin sort of style pajama long sleeve um like shirt with the long sleeve trousers long sleeve trousers long wide leg trousers exact same style exact same size i've got them an extra small but the design is just different and these i thought like looked so expensive so they're like a lily pad design with swans on and these were just giving me like rich auntie like the cool auntie that goes traveling has a really like nice big house in london i don't have that in my life but it's giving me those kind of vibes like i just feel like these look so expensive like something you buy from like liberties in london not something from h&m and i think these were like 24.99 something around those price but i feel like they look a lot more expensive than that so those are the trousers and then the top just looks like this. I kind of wish you could buy them separately, partly because then you can mix and match your sizes, but also partly because I would just get the like pajama bottoms and then just wear them with a vest top around the house. I feel like that would be more me. I don't really think I'd wear the shirt. And if I was gonna wear the shirt, I'd want it to be oversized. So that's the only problem with buying them as a set. But 
I don't know, I kind of like it, kind of not. And then I just have a couple of homeware bits and if I can get this done before my camera battery runs out of charge, I'm gonna be a happy girl. So in my, I think it was my last H&M haul, I showed some salt and pepper grinders, which I thought people would love. And then they've come out with some more, which again, I thought you guys would love. So I thought I'd get them to show you. So they're like these abstract, can you see like kind of, um, like abstract shape salt and pepper, um, shakers so you've got like a darker brown one and a light beige one and i just think on the side in your kitchen these would look so nice because they kind of look like a decorative object like a statue but they're actually practical as well because they're salt and pepper um shakers and they're just a little bit different to the normal salt and pepper grinders or whatever that you get um so i just think they look quite nice and like you could really help these would really like style the dining table a kitchen really nicely but like i said also be practical so i feel like loads of people are going to love those and then i got this which I'm pretty sure it's like a little dish. Oh my God, I don't have any scissors and it's got tape on it. And I'm hoping to get this done before my camera battery runs out of charge. Okay, I'm just gonna insert a clip of this over the top. I'm pretty sure, I'm just gonna double check before I start talking about something and it's not the right thing that I'm talking about, but I'm pretty sure this is a little dish that I picked up. Okay, yeah, I'm correct. This is a little dish I picked up. It's 6 99 and it's like this stoneware dish. It's meant to be like a soap dish, but I thought you could use this for basically anything, like jewellery, you could have it like on a cupboard. No, no I'm, I'm, I'm stressing because I'm rushing. A console table by your front door with like your keys in or something. It's meant for a bathroom though, and they do have like a matching soap dispenser I've seen in the pictures, but they haven't currently got it for sale. But I want to get the matching soap dispenser or... No, it wasn't a matching soap dispenser. They have a matching soap dispenser, but it's in stock but i want this matching tumbler that they've got because you could again use that for multiple things like a pencil pot or whatever um and i really like it it's kind of like a rugged and then the camera battery dies on me but i've now opened up the box because i i had to move anyway to change camera battery so i thought i might as well um so this is what it looks like it's just like a basic dish it would look really nice with like a bar of soap on it so it does really work well for the bathroom which is what it's meant for but like i said you could use this for so many things just like a little dish to like put things on and i think it's really nice and especially if you've got like the matching soap dispenser and the matching like toothbrush holder for the bathroom it would look really nice or if you didn't want to use it in the bathroom ignore the soap holder or the soap dispenser get this and the little like toothbrush holder because it's literally just a, like a almost like a cup so you could use it to like hold other things like pens or whatever like i said i just think it's really cute and that is the last thing for this H&M haul. I was so close to getting it done before my camera battery ran out of charge. And if I hadn't rambled about my camera battery running out of charge, I probably would have got it done, which is the ironic thing. Um, so if the like, kind of camera's moved a little bit, like I said, I have to like move the camera to change the battery. It's a little bit annoying. But anyway, it's done now. I hope you enjoyed this H&M haul. Give a thumbs up if you did. Apologies for me rushing it a little bit, but I wanted to try and get it done before the camera battery ran out of charge because I hate moving the camera mid-video. It's really frustrating. I'm just very like perfectionist anyway i hope you enjoyed the video and give a thumbs up if you did and i should see it something soon in another video bye